Ever since I was a kid, I have always dreamed about building my own airplane. I used to search for airplanes, thinking I was going to build one, find one in a catalog, whatever. Uh, 10 bucks, think I'd get that sucker. Anyway, I wouldn't. I am now taking flying lessons, and I've been working on my private pilot for a little over a year now, sporadically here and there, but I've got about 50, anywhere from 50 to 60 hours in. When I think about my mission in general aviation, it's probably a mixture of maybe some business, but more or less me going on adventures. Some of the most important things to me, if I were going to own my own airplane, would be reliability, stability, speed, and economy. I have to be able to afford to run the airplane. Some older airplanes burn 10 to 15 gallons of fuel per hour while traveling 90 knots. The two companies that I'm looking at is Vans, which builds the RV line of aircraft. And then there's another company called Sling. And they have a few aircraft out there, but the most popular airplane that they build um, is the Sling TSI. I follow a couple of other YouTube channels out there. One of them has built a Sling TSI over the past, uh, within the past couple of years. And that airplane has my attention. For the longest time, I was tossed between, I was split between the Vans RV10 and the Sling TSI. Which one do I want to build in the future? Now, I have plenty of time to think about it because it's not gonna be like tomorrow or the next year or the year after that. But some of the things that are important to me that I've been leaning more towards the Sling TSI is economy, ease of build, and really, what do I need? If you go with the RV-10, you end up with a bigger airplane. It still holds four people. Maybe it can carry a little bit more weight. It only travels just a tiny bit faster and maybe a tiny bit farther than the Sling TSI. So here are some of the things that you trade. With the Vans RV-10, it burns more fuel. It costs more per year to run because it burns more fuel. It takes longer to build. The construction is different. It uses bucked rivets instead of pop rivets or pulled rivets. The Sling TSI gets a better fuel economy. It uses a much smaller engine. The aircraft is more efficient because it's built to be more efficient. The engine is also computer controlled, whereas the Vans RV10 uses a much larger engine and it's a more conventional engine, which has more conventional controls, which leads towards less fuel economy over time. Both aircraft have a great reputation. But when I think about my mission in aviation, one of the things that's very important to me is economy. What's this thing gonna cost for me to, for me to fly 100 hours a year? And that's a lot. Flying 100 hours a year is a lot. The difference between burning 10 gallons an hour and seven and a half gallons an hour over the span of 100 hours, you're talking about a three gallon an hour difference, we'll say. Over 100 hours, that's 300 gallons. If fuel costs, I don't remember what it costs exactly, but we'll say $8 a gallon, that's $2,400 right there, right? Did I do that right? That's $2,400 right there. I do like the ease of build more with the TSI. You don't have to worry about bucking rivets. The pulled rivets leave a lot less room for error. Now, while I'm thinking about that, another interesting little thing came to being. And that's the Sling High Wing. And from what I understand, this is available in kit form. It's a little bit different construction than the Sling TSI because the main body is carbon fiber, but it's a really cool little airplane. It's the same fuel economy because it runs the same motor that the TSI runs. It's a little bit heavier, but it looks really cool. 
And whereas right now I do enjoy flying a low wing airplane better because it feels more stable. I don't necessarily know that that's because it's a low wing versus a high wing. Right now I fly a Cessna 172, which is a high wing, primarily most of the time. And it's very light and it bounces around a lot in the air. And that's not always the most comfortable thing. When I fly the Piper Cherokee that we have, we have a Cherokee 180 at my school and it's very old, it's from the 60s. There's absolutely nothing special about this thing. It's pretty old and pretty old, but it feels more stable. And I think that has to do with more of the fact that it's heavier and a little bit bigger. So I guess I'd be interested to fly both the TSI and the Sling Highway. Because if I sell myself on Sling, then I guess that's the only other question I have to ask. Do I want to build the low wing? Or do I want to build the highway? And that, ladies and gentlemen, sounds like a video for another time. <laughs>